Hello. Uh, in these couple of videos, I'm going to go through some of the basics of Visual Basic. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple of things that perhaps you've missed in class or you need to refresh up on. Um, maybe you're looking at this six months after I made it as a bit of a um, reminder on how to do things maybe for the exam. And it's up to you. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's get stuck into it. So I'm going to go through some of the basics. All right, now this program that we've got set here uh, is just simply going to print out Hello World. Now there's a couple of parts of this program that we can break down. So at the start, it says import system. Um, basically, that's just what libraries need to be imported in. It does this automatically, so don't stress too much about having to write this yourself. Now, the things that you do need to pay attention to is all of your programs need to start and end with a module. So uh, we're going to have module program is just what it's called right um, and an ed module as well now typically speaking this name should be the same name as your um as your actual file sometimes it gets a bit um the program can get a little bit sooky if you muck around with it so so if you're having problems make sure that these this program that may be matches this program module um, on this line here so we've got our module program, we've got a close or an end module, and then inside we've got our sub main, which is, this is the, the main program that's going to run. It's the first thing that runs when you when you load up any program. Outside of that, you can make your own functions and stuff like that, and I'll go through that another another time. But um, anyway, let's, let's run this and we'll say, hello world. Taking a sweet time as it always does. The, ten, the first time you run a program, it tends to take significantly longer than um, than the rest of it. Um, but you know, once you once you once you've run it a few times, it gets a little bit quicker. Um, it's gonna work. It's taking significantly longer than I thought it would. See, there you go, it says hello world, all right? Uh, so we get rid of that. All right, so this is this line here, console.write line, this is a um, a pretty simple output for a console program. We'll see some stuff with um, Windows app, or Windows form programs as well. Um, but console means essentially that there's no user interface, it's just text on a black screen, all right? Um, so this is a console program. Right. And all that line is doing is it's saying write out whatever is in these quotation marks. So obviously if I change this to be like um, what up, all right, and run it again. See, it is very slow today. And run it again, it will print out what up instead of hello world, all right. That's your basic output. All right. Now, what this let's break down what this uh, this line here means. It says console, which means whatever we're doing is going to be output into the console, which is that black screen that comes up. And I'm going to write out a line what up. Now, if you'll notice, uh, at the end of the program when I run it, there's a gap between that line that says what up and the next line. Right? There's a bit of a gap there. If I were to get rid of this line, just have to write, in theory, this gap should disappear. Meaning the difference between uh, right line and right is that right line will essentially press enter and go down and make a new line at the end of this one. Right? The right line adds in another line below it. Um, so yeah, that's just something to think about. Uh, yeah, bright line will, will, will go into more detail. Um, there's a couple things you can do as well to um, to add some values in there, but we'll go through that in a second when we talk about variables. Um, so in the interest of, of um, keeping these videos relatively short, uh, I'll end this one here. Um, and, uh, and, and then I'll go through some variables in the next video. Thanks, guys.